So the last example of geometric sequences that we're going to look at is compound interest. And this is really important to anybody because it talks about investing money or saving money and how interest works with your money. So it says Mike invests $5,000 in a guaranteed investment certificate. Each year 3% interest is added to the value. So this is important. The amount of money is increasing so we know this is going to be a growth situation. So it says state the growth factor. Well, the growth factor is going to be 1.03 here because it's going to be 100% plus 3 more percent, which gives us 103%. It says write a product which represents the value of the investment after one year. So after one year, we're going to calculate the amount of the investment by going 5,000 times 1.03. That will give us our value at the end of one year. Next thing says write a product to evaluate after two years. Well, this is going to be 5,000 times 1.03 times 1.03 and this actually gives you term 2 here and term 3 here because term 1 is going to be the initial amount. So if you look at this, it says use this to write a formula. Well, we're going to get that our initial investment is 5,000 times 1.03 to the n minus 1. Why n minus 1? Well, term 2 gave us an exponent of 1. Term 3 gave us an exponent of 2. So it's always 1 less than the term number. Okay, so it wants us to calculate the value after 1 year, after 2 years, and after 10 years. So they just want us to find 5,000 times 1.03. So 5,000 times 1.03 is going to give us $5,150 or $5,150 after one year. After two years, we're going to have 5,000 times 1.03 squared. So we go 5,000 times 1.03 squared, we get 530.450. And after 10 years, well, that's just 5,000 times 1.03 to the 10th. So 5,000 times 1.03 to the 10th is going to give us 67.19.58. Remember, this is actually term 11, term 3, and term 2 that we're finding in our sequence. So these exponents of 1, 2, and 10, well, the second term is actually 2 minus 1, which is 1. The third term is actually 3 minus 1, which is 2. And the 11th term is actually 11 minus 1, which is 10. That's why we've used those particular um, equations. So the general equation is going to be for this situation 5,000 times 1.03 to the n minus 1. Now, they actually do have in math a very specific formula for compound interest. They don't use these same variables. They use the variables a and p and the compound interest formula is actually this where A is the amount of the investment, I is the percent, and P is the principal or the initial amount you invested in dollars. So you can use this other formula to solve compound interest questions. So there we go.